reputations are intact this time of the year. Horses are getting getting ready to run. How much pressure do you feel with a horse like Constitution Hill in your care? There's obviously pressure, but there's a lot of pleasure in having it. Yeah. You know, that's what keeps you going, really. Um, he is an extraordinary character, as you probably saw him this morning when he's walking and trotting around the covered ride there. You wouldn't give sixpence for yeah. him. He looks half asleep and half, that's just the way he is. He eats and he sleeps, but he does work. Yeah, the last couple of bits of work he's done, I mean, I suppose the only thing through the summer when we're saying, you know, can this really be true or yeah. was it all a bit of a, a fluke or anything? Ascot's a lovely track for him. I think it's a sensible place to go. We've discussed it with Michael and yeah. I mean, it's two mile three, but I can't believe that's going to be an issue. Um, then, you know, it means Epitant could go back to the Fighting Fifth, which he's won the last two years. And then, you know, you've got Newbury that same weekend as that. So it suits, in every, in every way around it suits. Yeah. And how does he compare with some of the horses that you've trained to win champion hurdles in the past? Well, you'd have to say he's doing some very freakish things. The, the Supreme last year was, yeah. it was just crazy. And, and the stats that backed it up, yeah. i.e. the time and the distance and the everything else, you know, just all said it wasn't a, a fluke. It wasn't a fluke. And to be fair, he'd been the same in his other two races as well. Sean, how nice is it riding a horse like Constitution Hill all the time? It's very nice. <laughs> um, a lot of people seem to think that there's a lot of pressure in riding him and that, but he makes your life very easy. I mean, it's like sitting on a riding school pony half the time. <laughs> it's funny, Nico always says that he switches on when he gets to the races. Yeah, he'd be the same in like a piece of work, walking and trotting him as like being on one horse and then getting off him and getting onto a different horse to gallop him. He just comes to life. And like the first time I ever worked him, I was sure he was gonna empty out because everything else was around him was starting to struggle and I was still pulling double. And I, when I said go, he just kept finding and finding. It was ridiculous, like. <laughs> And then Barry Garrity obviously had him as a, as a young horse, and we've seen all the videos of him being ridden by his daughter. You know, he, he basically is like that. When we've seen mm. him this morning in the flesh, he is mm. basically like a child's boy. Well, I think that's the sort of, that's one of his strengths. Yeah. His mind game is incredibly good. And when he's doing his work, he just follows along and he does it. You know, I was bringing Barry up every three weeks, saying, for goodness sake, you told me this was a good horse. It's showing me nothing. He said, I promise you, I promise you. And it was just one morning, and somebody on it said, will you please wake this horse up or do something at work? But anyway, somebody found the button that you have to press. And once you press that button, He's away. and we'd found where the button was, and then he can go through a race and exactly the same thing. Nothing phases him. He'll follow them round, he'll follow them round. And when you say go, we go. Is he really that good at home when he walks? Yeah, I've never felt anything like it. Like, it's like riding a flat horse. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, um, it's quite hard to put into words because I've, I've never seen or sat on anything like it. And he just puts, like, horses that are top class just says, right, yeah, go on, get back. <laughs> really? Yeah. But that ability to switch on and switch off, that's obviously very important. Yeah, I think that's what makes him so good is he's just so chilled out about life. And I just said to Jane walking down the gallop there, like if life was as easy as he thinks it was, we'd be all doing well, wouldn't we? Jaden, you're probably quite a privileged position. Shishkin's work rider, but not only do you look after Shishkin and ride him all the time, you look after Constitution Hill as well. Yeah, no, I do, it's actually, um, I'm a very lucky boy. He's a dude, honestly. Really? He, he is incredible, he is, honestly. He can look after himself, he can ride himself. He is honestly an absolute superstar of a horse, yeah. Just very laid back, like we've seen him being tacked up this morning. He literally yeah. stands in the doorway. He's just so relaxed, nothing phases him. He's just quality to be around, really.